All right, what's up? Going to be talking about uh, Burma stalling today. Of course, it isn't in the game anymore. I just want to talk about, you know, how I thought about it before, uh, how I thought about it, how I think about it now, and, uh, you know, its overall impact on the game, whether it was a good or a bad thing. Um, so to start off, for those of you who, uh, for those newer players who don't know what perma stalling is, uh, you know, as the name suggests, it's basically being able to permanently stall an enemy from moving at all um with units right and so the original perma stalling combo was to use something similar to that of this uh speedy blue archangel you use a blitz charger yellow arch archangel can achieve something very close to a perma stall ash is able to perma stall um few enemies um and what this allow you to do is uh basically all these enemies you see pouring into here now uh normally would all be at the very front stuck there unable to move um because they're getting infinitely stalled right and this was patched a few months ago this strategy no longer works uh and makes a lot of the best strategies before pretty outdated right um and what this strategy basically allowed you to do was um you could have just a few monsters right and then you know just speedy your blue archangel your blitz charger um using yellow archangel in this situation but you know ser still serves a similar purpose and it j basically just allow you to uh instantly beat any level um if you had those units right provided you had some sort of dps uh you would eventually be able to kill all the enemies uh and beat the level right even um even if your dps monsters weren't good even if you didn't have high enough levels you just get that perma stall front line you can win um and I think, yeah, overall, I think it's a good thing that they removed it from the game uh, because now you see, especially with elemental challenges, you get more variation in your setup, right? It's not just have that speedy, have those two front perma stallers. Um, you actually need to think about um, creating a setup that's able to uh, counter enemies, their plays and all that stuff, right? Um, and you can still achieve stuff uh, similar to a um, similar to that of a perma stall, I guess. I'll just show it off with Zeus here because Zeus is still able to... Uh, to stall for a bit um it's not permanent but it's the closest thing we have to a perma stall right now um and it just makes him a very good stun it doesn't make him something you can instantly place down um and then just win the level right um zeus is actually able to uh to keep enemies stalled for a bit he but he doesn't keep them stalled forever uh which i think is good because now especially when you're thinking about making a setup right um you know, you, you want to make a setup that actually incorporates uh, more than just stuns at the front row. Um, you want to have some sort of like variation in your setup that's able to, uh, you know, help you get through the level with different stunning effects and all that stuff. Like, for example, uh, in Volcano Goddess, you have Jirai here now. Um, you know, this, the need for something like Susanu is actually needed um, because now, you know, you're going to be losing rocks because you can't just stall enemies so they'll never hit rocks. Um, you're going to need stuff like... Uh, you know, of course, I have dry here, um, but normally, you know, you'd put dry down because a full map slow would be very strong, right? Um, now, rather than getting those really strong stuns that can stall a group of targets forever, you know, people generally favor uh, full map stuns, right? Something like an Archimedes, really strong. Two seconds, the entire map gets stunned. Um, it's really solid for uh, for stunning. And just to uh, just to sum up my overall thoughts, yeah, I think the removal of perma stall is good. Enables for a lot of new strategies. Um, it makes the game a lot less rigid than it was before. It makes it so you actually have to do a little bit more grinding um, to be able to get a good setup. Now it's not just roll for a little bit. Okay, get your front line with speedy two perma stallers. Uh, add in you know whatever garbage units from behind at like one global alt unit, um, and then you know you're good to go. You can beat all the levels in the game. I don't think that. Um, that makes the game very strategy focused at all and although you know as i said before you do have to grind more to get a good setup right um it also allows you to incorporate you know more thinking more different types of strategy right uh you know now combos that aren't just perma stalling are viable now death by anubis is viable now having something like a uh now having something such as a uh you know greek god boosting is viable just something just something more than a perma stall right you know devon can also be strong in certain situations it opens up the doors to other stuns um that were just overshadowed by perma stuns before again as i said before global stuns slime king is going to be you know a bit better now because it's not just slime king has this stun oh that's cool and all but i have this uh blitz charger and blue archangel that can stun forever why would i need slime king stun right but now slime king has a stun it's two seconds on the entire map you let your uh, frontline carry do damage, and you let Slime King stun the whole map. Um, yeah, overall, just uh, 
I, I really support the decision to remove Hermistall. Um, I know this is a little bit uh, late feedback, but I just want to get my thoughts out there. Uh, like, subscribe, and uh, see ya.